ambiguous. We've talked about it before. Ambiguous. Ambiguous is when things are not clear. Okay? When a sentence can have more than one meaning. Right? Not clear. That's a very clear. simple definition. Not clear. And if you are writing something, or you are speaking, the time when you are most ambiguous, most not clear, is when you use pronouns. Right? Where pronouns, he, she, it, that, this, those, these. They. They. Yeah. Right? Because if I say... They play baseball. They what? Dare. Who is they? Right? And it was kind of funny. In the, you expect people who give speeches to be perfect in their English. Right? And you know that today was the day that we get the results from the American presidential election. And a few months ago, President Obama made a mistake when he was talking. Okay? He was giving a speech about how a person who starts a business doesn't start a business alone. You have help. Someone helps you. Okay? And he said, you know, maybe you have a good teacher in your history, or something. And like, roads and bridges, right? You didn't build roads and bridges. Right? The government <laughs> built roads and bridges. And he made this comment that, you know, uh, a long time before he'd say, roads, you don't build the roads and bridges, government builds that. And he says, so then, if you have a company, if you have a business, a business, you, you didn't build that, you didn't build that. And the question is, what is that, that? What is that? And the answer to that is, there's only one way to interpret this, and that's the business. You didn't build that. You didn't build your business. That wasn't what he was trying to say. It was a mistake. It was a grammar mistake. He didn't mean that. He meant those. Where those were the roads and bridges. Completely changed the argument. And the funny part was that people responded immediately. I did build my business. My business, I built that. And that wasn't what the question was. He knows you built the business. The question was, did you build the roads and bridges? Did you build, it's called infrastructure. The roads and bridges. Did That's a very important word. Infrastructure. Infrastructure. Yeah. The accent is... In infrastructure. Infrastructure. Okay. Infrastructure. Infrastructure. In Katakana, we often call that infra. Infra. Yeah. I would not understand infra. So <laughs> talking about infrastructure. What yes. Do you do with that? Okay. So what Obama was trying to say was that you didn't build the infrastructure. You built the business, but. Other people built the infrastructure. People got so angry, and it was a grammar mistake. Wow. Grammar mistake. That was it. It was grammar. So, when I tell you, that's ambiguous. Please be careful. Very good example of ambiguous. It was perfect. It yeah. was, it's a perfect English teaching opportunity. Yeah, right. Thank you, so our te government. So, teachers, school teachers are so pleased. <laughs> With his mistake. P perhaps. Yeah. I have a feeling that people were not pleased with his mistake. This 
argument went on for like two months. People were talking about this. Two months people were talking about this. People are still talking about this, yeah. actually. And Especially the other side of people, right? Yeah, Not for Obama, but against Obama. Yeah, the people who are for Obama are like, oh, please. It was obvious. Obvious. It was obvious he meant infrastructure. Obvious he meant roads and bridges. And the other side being like, I can't believe how rude you are to say, I didn't build my business. I built my business. You did not build my business. The government did not build my business. It's pretty amusing. It was a <laughs> grammar mistake. Grammar. Wow. So, studying English, very important for <laughs> everyone. Right. Okay, good conclusion. <laughs> Thank you.